in this video we will be looking at how you can get the item id or any any column or any field from the last submitted record from your form control in the power app so you have a form and you have submitted a new record and for some reason for some business logic you need to capture or get the item id of that record back in the power app so how you can do it now let's just I'll just run this, add new tenant, this is my second screen where I've added, this is just a form control we have set it to tenants database, uh, my SharePoint list and on click of this icon we are submitting it we have a submit form function now once this is submitted I want to show a user or the requester saying you record with record has been submitted and this is the item id or this is the unique id of your record so they can keep it for their uh, future reference so what you can do is let's say your record has been submitted successfully and the id is so how you can get the the ID of the submitted record. Now to ac to access that you have to use the form control. So back to the label text form one. There's a property called last submit. So if you look at it, there is a property called last submit, and this will give you the whole record which was submitted with the uh, system properties like ID created modified all these system columns it will give you the values of those system columns as well so what just to get the id of your last submitted record you need to use form one name of your form dot last submit that's the last record and then dot id this will give you the id of last submitted record let's just give it a try let me just position it we'll just change it here and if I go here let me just add some padding make it semi bold okay back run it add new tenant let's just say Alex apartment two zero test one contract Contract date is 28. Project test 2. Now, if I hit the submit icon, this should get submitted, and here it should be we should be able to see the ID item ID of this record. So, let's just submit it. Okay, so it has been submitted, and you can see this is the item ID of the last submitted record. Now, if I go to the development mode again you can see here that's the id and you should be able to see all the properties almost whichever whatever you have submitted you should be able to read it or use it for some other purpose if you want to use it if you're using some cascading list um, lookup list or your if your multiple list you have and there is a master list there is a child list if you want to use this id or some other columns you can use it this way so you can create a first master item and then you can create a child item and you can use the id of the master item id here well that's it in this video we have seen how you can use form dot last submit property and you can how you can access the the values or the columns of the last submitted record thank you so much for watching